Hello, my name is Gwendolyn Gilliam and this is a short piece about me. One of my most formative memories was of being um, moved to Texas at age four when my parents divorced and my great aunt showed love in the form of Hershey bars, Coca-Cola, M&M's, excuse me, Cherry Coke, M&M's, ice cream and pie every day. And in one month, I gained 15 pounds, probably weighed 30 to begin with. So of course they had to take me to the doctor to find out what was wrong with me. And at the hospital there, I escaped, which was normal. And I wandered into the colored only waiting room, which was quite a shock. I'd never been in a room of all African Americans. And I, understood the purpose of the quarantine, which by the way is a really weird word for a four-year-old to know. But I remember going, oh, they're quarantined because everything had to be separate because obviously if there's, they're at the hospital and it's being black is a disease. And if you touch them or drink after them, you'll turn black too. And so the next thing I saw was this shining, brilliant, blinding the sun was on it it was white drinking fountain and without thinking I stepped up on the little stool and took one sip and ran away because I would rather have turned black than to believe all of that and so all of my life has been understanding the pain of separation the pain of nationality separation any kind of uh, class all of it um, separating us is is terribly painful it's a terrible pain that we all carry and so i am hoping in my work in this world to bring people together and one of the things that i am very talented at and i think that brings people together is music and also orgasms i believe that an orgasm is a divine emission of spirit and that's why we crave them and they also provide guidance and you can also direct them into a specific purpose and goal. So what I'm up to right now is making a band that will present this information in a non-threatening way so that people can, just by breathing, not by touching themselves or anything, bring themselves into this place of this rush of ecstasy that they can direct into purposes. One of the purposes, uh, with or without this extra energy, is um, healing Fukushima. And I think that that's something that we can all do in our lifetime if we unite our energies. I um, have created the Global O, which is on Valentine's Day. The first one was 2014, the year on uh, 2.14 a.m. on the year um, on, uh, at 2.14 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time, which is 6.14 p.m. on the West Coast of the United States on Valentine's Day, 2.14. So the original year it was 2.14, 2.14, 2.14. And um, that is a, is a simultaneous rush of ecstatic, orgasmic divinity into creating peace on this planet. And um, also, I mean, there's many things that I've done. I was on the Nicaragua Construction Brigade, the first one that left for Manhattan. Uh, cop watch, watching out for the homeless people in Berkeley. Um, so many things to, to mention. Uh, in 1980, I published my first book, Understanding Abuse of Families, with Dr. James Garbarino. That was back when my name was spelled with an O, Gwendolyn. And the second book was Fatal Moments, The Tragedy of the Accidental Killer in 91 uh, with Dr. Barbara Chesser. And um, so I don't know where this all is going to go, quite honestly, but I do know that spirit is true and spirit comes to me in this form of the divine rush and shows me the inspiration about Fukushima came that way. Uh, the, all of my inspirations come through this divine connection. And I hope that you are interested in doing something along these lines, supporting it. And I hope that we all make a beautiful, magical, paradisical planet in the very near future. Have a namaste.